Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create this welcome screen or this opt-in form using a service called Convertful and add it to your website. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is you need to create a free account on Convertful.com. So just go to the website Convertful.com and create an account and log into the account. Now when you log in, you will see this screen. Now the first thing you need to do is add your website. So let's click on add site. And here we need to add the details of our website. So the first thing we need to add is the domain name. So let's go back to our website and let's copy this uh, URL from here. And uh, let's paste it over here. And the next thing is the CMS. So right now, the blogger platform is not being displayed over here. So let's click on custom CMS. And if you are using any of these platforms, you can select those. All right, the next thing is the site category. So let's select blog magazine media. And let's click on add site. And now we can see that our domain name is being displayed over here. Now we need to add this code to our website. So we need to add it just before the closing head tag. So let's copy this code from here. And let's go to our blogger website. So here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website. And let's go over here to theme. And let's click on this arrow and let's click on edit HTML. And here let's search for the end of the head tag. So I just press command F and let's search for the end of the head tag. And this is where the head tag ends. So let's add the code just before it. So here I'll just paste the code. And let's go ahead and click on save. Right now let's go back to the Convertful website and uh, right now if you click on check connection it says that the JavaScript code is not found but uh, it is not updated on this website yet. So let's click on connect later. Now the next thing we need to do is create a widget. So let's click on create widget. So here we can see we have a lot of templates to choose from. So here for e-commerce we have all these designs. So you can just go ahead and select any of these designs and make the changes and add it to your website. Now if you scroll down, we can see that we have a lot of different categories. So if I select special occasions, we have some designs for special occasions. So you can choose any of these designs. I'll just go ahead and uh, I'll just choose one from for blog magazine media. And let's scroll down and uh, let's select this design right here. This is how it looks. We can go ahead and change the text and all these other details. So let's click on create welcome screen. So this is how it looks. So you can go ahead and change this to whatever you want. So right now it is basically this uh, icon. You can go ahead and change and add any icon you want over here. And uh, then we have this uh, heading. So let's go ahead and change this heading. So I'll just type learn react JS in 10 days and let's go ahead and select 10 days and let's make it bold and uh, let's go ahead and decrease the font size a little bit right now let's go ahead and select this text right here and uh, let's change this uh, details so i'll just type download my free ebook and here i'll just change this to to learn the latest technologies in web development and let's go ahead and add a line break over here Right, then we have this button so you can go ahead and change uh, all these details over here you can also change uh, the color of the button and i'll just change uh, the text of the second button so here let's change uh, the text to no i'm not interested now let's go ahead and change the background color of this container so let's select this and uh, let's change this to something around this color i think that looks all right now i think we need to change this color of the button so i'll just change it to something else i think this looks all right now here we can see on the left side we have the settings and this is for the widget so you can also add background image if you want and uh, i'll just deselect scrollable so whenever this screen is displayed the website will not be scrollable so let's uncheck this 
and then we can see that we have these elements so you can go ahead and add these elements to your design so this is the text we have the image form fields button and all these things over here and you also have the option of adding HTML code so if I just drag this over here we can go ahead and write the HTML code over here so for example if I just add a class just type my container and now we can go over here to the CSS and we can just target the class so I just type my container and uh, now here we can go ahead and uh, add any CSS we want so I'll just type color red and now we can see that the color is red so if I just add a background color of black this is how it looks so in this way we can add custom design to this uh, welcome screen so if you already have an HTML design you can add it over here and if you don't have you can just go ahead and uh, customize the current design so let's go back and let's delete the CSS now here on the left side we can see that uh, we also have the option of viewing it in a mobile screen so let's select this and this is how it will look on a smartphone right now let's go ahead and style the other screen so when someone clicks on this button they'll be taken to this screen right here which is the offer screen so let's go ahead and change the text of this as well so I'll just copy this text from here and let's paste it over here right now let's select this text and I'll just change this to enter your email below to get the free PDF and then we can see we have this input field we have this checkbox and then we have this button we'll also change the color of this button so let's copy the color code of this button right here so let's go to the color and let's copy this color from here and uh, let's go to the offer and let's paste the color over here now here we can see that these three elements don't have the full width so let's go to columns and here we can see that for the first row we have just one column and then we have two columns then we have these many columns over here at the bottom now let's take a look at the row 2 where we have these three elements so I just delete these two columns from here so let's click on delete column and uh, ok and delete column ok now we can see it has the full width let's also take a look at the smartphone version and this is how it looks right now let's go to the thank you page and this is how the thank you page looks and I think everything looks all right over here let's go to the desktop version and I think it looks all right right now we can go ahead and click on save you can also change the name of this screen so I'll just change this to welcome screen main and uh, now if you go over here to design rules here we have some options that we can add to our design so the first one is when should this uh, welcome screen be shown the first option is when the visitor intends to leave and then we have this option time on page is at least this many seconds so I'll just leave it at zero you can change this to whatever you want so after that many seconds the welcome screen will be displayed and then we have all these options if the visitor is inactive for a number of seconds and all this you can go ahead and check these out and then we can see we also have the option of don't show so here we can see that if any other floating widget is currently shown so if we have any other widget shown then this widget should not be shown and then we have this option the widget was submitted in the last 90 days you can also change this to minutes and hours now what this means that if the user clicks on the button and uh, if they enter the email id and if they download the pdf then the widget should not be shown and then we have the widget was closed in the last seven days so whenever the user clicks on the not interested button then after seven days the widget will once again be shown and then we have the widget was shown in the last 30 minutes so you can go ahead and turn these options on and off based on your needs and uh, let's click on save changes right now let's go ahead and activate this widget so let's click on this button and uh, now it is active so let's close this and here we can see we have the welcome screen main and right now it is active and here we have all the analytics so here we'll be able to see the impressions the click-through rate the conversions and all these things over here right now let's go to our website and let's refresh this page and now we can see we have this welcome screen and we have the exact design over here 
let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the mobile screen so I'll just go to inspect and uh, let's select the mobile version and this is how it looks on a smartphone so it looks all right let's close it and now if you click on no I am not interested we can see that the banner goes away now if you refresh this page it is not being displayed again now this will be displayed after seven days because we had set that over here in the widget so here in the design rules we can see that the widget will again be shown after seven days right for now let's go ahead and deactivate all these options for testing so let's click on save changes and let's go back and let's refresh this page and here we have the welcome screen and now let's go ahead and click on yes send me the book and here we have the option of adding our email address so just type test at email.com and now let's click on this button and it says we have to confirm so let's click on this checkbox and now let's click on this button and now we have this final screen where we can go ahead and click on download button and uh, the file will be downloaded so if you go back to the convertful app and if you go to the design and if you go to thank you and if I click on this button here we can see that this is basically a link so you can go ahead and add the link of any PDF file over here so whenever the user clicks on this download button the file that you provide over here will be downloaded to their system now if you go back to the analytics here we can see first of all we can see that it was viewed two times and then we have the click-through rate and uh, we have one email collected so if you go over here to analytics here we can see that everything is displayed in detail and uh, here we have the email that we just provided and if you go to subscribers you will find all the email id that you collected so that's basically how you can add a welcome screen to your blogger website all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day